Hello and welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make a little cat and I'm going to add fur to it. Um, it's not like I am a beginner, so I'm not saying that this is the best way of doing it or this is the only way of doing it. I'm just going to show you how I made it. And as I've said earlier that I'm self-taught and I'm learning as I go along. So why don't you stick around and learn with me? Maybe we will be experts in years to come. So I've made a cylindrical shape and I've got a pipe cleaner and I've cut it into half and I'm going to just cover it with some wool and I'm going to make these as the limbs of the cat. So I have done a few wire armatures but uh, and they are easier to do I think because you get all the limbs in and you make everything in one go but as I'm doing the videos we'll slowly get to them so just cut the, uh, the pipe cleaners as long as you want the limbs to be and I folded the ends so they're not poking out like the sharp ends are just folded in and I've rolled them with wool and I've taken another half of the pipe cleaner for the tail so just roll them with wool and I'm going to attach them to the cylindrical shape that I made and this is going to be the body of the cat and once you're, you're happy with the length of the limbs you can just fold them from the end and they will make the paws. So this is just going to be a really simple and cute cat. Not getting into the, the detailed armature and not in the anatomy of the cat. But it's just going to be a simple cute structure. And when it's done, you'll see that it does look cute. So I'm attaching the limbs, just adding some wool and securing it in place. And the same way I'm going to do the tail. And I've rolled a ball and felted it down to make the head of the cat. So this is the limbs attached and the tail as well. I think the tail is too long but I'm going to cut it at the end. And I'm just putting some more wool to give the thighs or the limbs and the, the hind thighs are going to be a bit more thicker and the front legs are just uh, not so thick. I'm using slivers and they're easier to roll on the pipe cleaners. It's welding ding it down in place. As you can see that I've just folded the pipe cleaners a bit so they form paws. In this video you'll see that I make the whole shape and then I add fur to it but at the end because uh, I, as I told you earlier I'm a beginner and I'm learning as I go along so with this cat I learned that I should have uh, made the limbs first and then attach the fur so when the limbs are finalized then I should need like the fur comes at the very end but maybe I was in a hurry to see how it goes and how the furry cat looks. Now you can see that I've shaped the, th the hind legs, the thighs, and they are coming in together. 
is how I give it the tie and this piece of wool folded it and I stuffed it down in the shape of a thigh. I wanted to make a chunky cat but it didn't turn out as chunky as I wanted it but maybe the next cat I do will make it more chunkier. I love fat cats. Not the obese ones but you know healthily chunky. So I'm a cat lover and I think they are really difficult to do in felting. Can't get the face right somehow. So I've made a number of cats and I think I'm getting better at them. So now you can see the shape coming along. Adding more fats <laughs> to the thighs. And it's getting more into shape. I really liked it at this stage. So now I'm going to attach the ball. Please don't mind the, the sound of the winds. We're getting a storm today. So this is the ball and I'm going to give it a little muzzle or a snout as you call it. and giving it shape <coughs> I'm sorry I'm still new to this and sometimes my just my hands just go off the frame and I try to fix that so I'm shaping the muzzle or the snout or the mouth I don't know what you call it and I'm going to add the eyes to it now so once I've got the nose and mouth in place I'm going to add 5 mm eyes I think over time when you look back at your videos and you think like they're really not that good. So maybe a few years down I'll be producing better videos. <laughs> so I've glued the eyes down and just floating around them to make the head a bit more firm. Or attach it to the body. So you have to fill it all around just to make it secure. Adding more wool around the neck just to hide the joining marks and to give it more body.
bit more wool on the head just to make it a bit bigger because it seemed like it was too small so you can always add more wool but you can't remove so it's better to build the shape gradually By adding a little sliver of light brown color just around the eyes so they have to be really close to the plastic eye and taken a fine needle I think it was 42 and just going around the edges of the plastic eye I've put in Now I'm making triangular ears for the cat. I'm going to make a calico cat, so I've taken some orange and just folded it into a triangle. And once you've done one, it's easier to do the other one of the same size. Just keep it on top and draw a line with your needle. I'm adding some little pink color to them as well. I'm sorry about the sound of the traffic. We're gonna get loads of those today. So I'm starting to add fur and in the beginning it is quite intimidating because it is a long process. It's not that difficult but it's very long. I've cut some wool, it's the, the top coats, so they come in one direction, I think this is the New Zealand top I've got, and it's really soft and white, and just cut some pieces so I don't waste much of it, and I'm just going to randomly add colors because they do have random spots so you can just add colors as you go along so hold the bowl down and felt it down the middle and then fold it down and felt again just to get it in and make sure it's secure and then you can cut it off cut off the extra bits to the length you require it is a long process so I'm not going to film the whole of it I'm just going to show you bits after I've done a bit I'm going to show you it's the same process over and over again hold it and place it and fold it down the middle in a straight line hold it down and fold again to make sure it's in place and don't forget to attach the ears before you do the fur 
I almost forgot. So as I'm coming towards the head, I'm going to touch the ears first. I'm still not sure how it goes in the face, so I'm just going to do it and I'll learn. So it has to be in lines and the, the more distance you leave in the middle. Mm. The more, the less fur it's going to have, but if you want really thick coat and short fur, then you can keep adding fur really close. So I've made a black strip. I've just used little strands of black, and as I moved towards the forehead, I decreased its width so I get a triangular shape now the eyes I'm adding a little white to the eyes very thin strand of white and gone really in so it gives it a realistic look pink nose now I'm going to make the mouth with a piece of white wool and just touching it and then I'm shaping it. So the eye is a bit tricky. Just had to add more wool to the eyelids. Somehow it wasn't recorded. I'm sorry about that. And right on near the nose. I took a very thin sliver of wool so it doesn't get too chunky on the nose. I'm covering the back with fur and then we'll come to the tail. Back and front. So it was the same process but for the head you have to change the direction of the fur so it goes upwards like upwards from the nose and near the eyes it goes along with the shape of the face like on the sides it has to go on the side you can't have the fur coming down and on the forehead it has to go up you have to take care of the direction of the shape of the body. I'm adding wool to the legs now, if you can see it. I'm really bad at this, I think. So I'm gonna get better with the next video. And two. I'm adding some carded wool to the to the tail so it sticks well i'm covering the tail with some carded wool first and then i'm going to attach some fur so it stays in place and i did cut off a bit from the edge and folded it down i started with black you can make strips little wool to give a stripey effect started with black or you can have just a white tail it doesn't matter because the gas come in all in different patterns and colors I've attached fur in both directions like some of it is going towards the end and then just to cover it up with some a 
across and just felt it in the middle. So the fur is attached right in the center of the tail. It goes both ways. And then I've attached this little strip of it going towards the end. So one is horizontal attachment and one is vertical. So it covers the whole tail and gives it a chunky look as well. So this is the cat. It's all ready. Looks really cute and it's really small. And I hope you liked it. And thank you for watching. And do join me in my next video. Next step of learning. Thank you very much for watching.